Malcolm Thompson. Thank you, Colin. Thanks, uh, Vince. I'm delighted to be here to be associated with the launch of Rail Trails of Victoria and South Australia, the third edition. Uh, beautifully uh, illustrated and prepared, uh, wonderful photographs and maps, uh, and plus it's got a free plug of me, which in an election year is a real bonus. If you turn to page 46, you'll see it. The, 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 the only... Uh, uh, the only downside of this is that when I, uh, I look at all the, these maps, I think, by crikey, I'd like to go out and, and do, uh, do one or other of these rides. But uh, the only way I'll be able to, uh, to do that is uh, uh, by giving up my day job. And so it's uh, constituting an unreasonable temptation at the moment to, uh, to give it all away, a temptation I'm seeking to avoid. Uh, there are uh, many things to like about Rail Trails Australia. Uh, the first is that uh, Rail Trails Australia seeks to build and improve uh, the rail trails as a public asset. And we live in an era where there's a great focus on building up private assets and often, in my view, not enough focus on building up public assets. So the first thing I like about Rail Trails Australia is that, that focus on uh, uh, rail trails as one of our public assets. The second thing there is to like about Rail Trails Australia is the emphasis on the history and the heritage value of rail trails. Again, often we're going through times where we don't value our history and our heritage as much as we ought. And by seeking to uh, preserve, protect, promote the rail trails, uh, Rail Trails Australia has a very worthwhile focus and, uh, on our past and on, on properly remembering and acknowledging that. The third thing I like about the, the Rail Trails project is that it uh, promotes the outdoors and getting out into our open spaces and a, and a healthy lifestyle. Uh, we spend a lot of time indoors these days with the, the TV and the internet and all the other attractions that there are indoors and by uh, promoting the Rail Trails we've got a focus on healthy lifestyle, on recreation, some of those things are accessible for uh, wheelchairs and the disabled, so it's a, a very positive thing for us both individually and, and collectively as a community. The fourth thing I like about Rail Trails Australia is uh, that emphasis on volunteers and community building through volunteers and uh, it's quite a remarkable achievement that everything, uh, it, all of this is produced as the handiwork of volunteers and people like uh, Vince uh, who I've uh, known for quite some years now and the others uh, associated with with Rail Trails Australia uh, deserve our acknowledgement and our appreciation for the work that they do as volunteers. And the final thing I like about uh, Rail Trails Australia is the opportunity it gives me to be uh, a little bit parochial because the, despite the name Rail Trails Australia, it's based here in Melbourne uh, and in the state of Victoria which has done the most in terms of developing the Rail Trails uh, network and uh, really is quite some distance ahead of the others. So I like the fact that I can be uh, parochial and proud of uh, your work as a Melbourne person. Uh, can I, like uh, Vince, uh, thank very much uh, Regional Development Victoria. Uh, they uh, made funding available to assist in uh, the publication of, uh, uh, of, of this fine effort and uh, they deserve our appreciation as well. So uh, Vince, uh, thanks very much for the opportunity to be here and to be associated with this. Uh, I congratulate you on your work to date and wish you all the best for the future. Thank you.